Hello, my name is Igor. I created this video primarily for my students so they can easily understand those cylindrical objects from the workbook, but it is also good practice for Tinkercad too. These are now very simple cylindrical objects, so I will design more than once at a time. But here you can see the timestamps so you can jump to any part of the video you would like to see. Okay, let's start with the first three. I'm starting with the cylinder. I just change the view from the orthographic view. I'm making three copies of this cylinder because in this design I'm creating three objects in the same time. These are very simple objects. First is cotton on the top, the second is right in the middle and the third is cotton more than a half on one side. This is the front view, this is the view from the left side. And this is the view from the top. Uh, I decided to print six objects in the same time. So next three designs are also included in this print. Wha for one, I need this support here. You can see with the green color. And uh, this is the preview of the printing. And this print will last approximately three hours and 40 minutes. After the printing, uh, I had to remove those supports from one object, and uh, these are the first three objects. Next three objects also start with the orthographic U. Of course, I started with the cylinder. I am creating a copy of this cylinder. The first object is a little bit longer, though the other two are shorter. And I'm preparing uh, boxes, which will be the whole type of the shape. They will be subtracted from the cylinders. And then when I combine these objects, uh, the object is ready. The whole shape is divided from, uh, subtracted from the cylinder. Just moving a box a little bit to the top and to the bottom. And after combination, these three objects are ready. This is the front view. This is view from the top. And this is the view from the left side. Let's see closer these top views. So this is the first object, the second object, and the third object. And this is how they look like after 3D printing. The printing process you can see in the few seconds or maybe minutes ago. Well, uh, this time I will design only one object in the same time. I also start with the cylinder. These are cylindrical objects in this work. And there will be two cuttings from, from it. The, two boxes but one cutting is only approximately until the first half of the cylinder. So this is the front view, this is view from the right side, and this is view from the left side, and this is the top view. I didn't include those hidden lights in the side views. And uh, this time I was printing two objects at the same time. And this is the 3D printed object. And again, next work I start with the cylinder. I'm preparing a box, which will be again a whole type of the shape. And 
changing the view to the orthographic view and I'm making a copy of this box as a whole. And theoretically this will be the first object, but uh, I will go back because I make a copy um, because the second object in this design is very similar, only the cutting box is moved to the top and this is how they look like. So let's see it of you. This is the front view. This is view from the top. I didn't show how those hidden lines here. And this is the view from the left side. Now for this object I need uh, supports. And I decided to make some experiments because the first version will be printed horizontally and the second version will be printed horizontally. And probably here I will have some rougher edge, but I want to see that after 3D printing. And uh, yes, as I expected, the quality of the for the uh, vertical position is much better. So you can see the supports, it's very easy to remove uh, in both versions. Uh, maybe I will need some tool for this, but uh, removing of the supports takes maybe a few minutes of work. I tried to fix the surface with the same paper, but as you can see, the difference is very visible. So this is the printed in horizontal uh, vertical position and this is printed in horizontal position. Okay, next object is also very simple, uh, but I will design it uh, only one at a time. I need two cylinders, but the second one will be smaller. And from that smaller cylinder, I need to cut, cut the box. I'm using the automatic align tool here. And this is the whole box I want to cut from the smaller cylinder. And this is how it looks like in the front view. This is view from the right side. And this is the view from the top. And this is 3D printed object. And again, uh, last two objects, I'm starting with the cylinder and preparing a whole box. For the first cylinder, I'm using the automatic align tool. And from this cylinder, I will cut this box well, approximately in the middle. And I'm preparing the second object, which is a little bit longer. And here I have to cut two boxes, one uh, on both sides. I'm using the automatic align tool. Just moving a little bit those whole boxes. And after a combination object is ready. So this is the front view, view from the right side. And this is view from the top, but those hidden lines are not visible here at this moment. But for the moment, I make this object transparent so you can see those transparent lines too, hidden lines. And both objects needs uh, support here but I learned a lesson from the previous uh, test, so they are printed in vertical position. So these are those supports. And it's very easy to remove those supports, only some touching surface is a little bit uh, raw, but uh, if necessary, with some same paperwork, uh, they can be cleaned. And this is the final 3D pr printed object. 
and this is the last object from this series. Okay, thank you for watching. My next video for the, my students will be designed in uh, Design Spark Mechanical. It is also a free software and it is very good practice to draw design some basic shapes. I hope you will follow me to that video too. Thank you for watching. Bye.